See, we just got the boats out on the lake today, right? That guy wants to race. Let's go. Let's go. To the victors go the spoils. Not bad. Wow, we are way out there. I didn't know I had my zoom way in. We are booking it back now if I can find it. Pontoons looking at it like, oh my gosh. And you got the reverse too. I'm digging the LEDs on it. What's up guys, Mr. Allen C here and we're checking out the RC racing boat. Guys, we're headed to the park to race this awesome boat. We're in my vehicle and you can see I just used this uh, USB plug-in. I got them by my cigarette lighter to charge the battery on the way to the park. And then when that one's charged, I got a spare I can charge. So we're gonna get to drive this thing for the first time. I'm so excited, let's go. All right, this is how I'm installing my battery inside with this green wire going to the left and then this white one to the left. Um, you don't want them hanging out this side to prevent breaking the motor is my best understanding. All right, buddy, so we got the boat all set. We have a fresh battery that was charged in there. We have this packed with batteries. At the bottom of the controller here, we can see it takes four double A's. Now that we got the batteries installed, we'll close the battery door and be ready to go. Let's go try it out. Oh, uh, this one was on Amazon. Yeah. I'm one hand driving while I record with my remote. Alright, so I didn't see a power switch on this boat, but I understand that it functions when it's in the water. So I think when you put it in the water, it completes the circuit and it automatically turns on. Try that backup function. Just push the trigger backwards and it backs up.
try? Let's go. Yeah, I had to take her down to the old boat landing and show my boat off. You know, it's pretty awesome. Man, it's got such great range and distance. I'm loving this. Right now I'm driving with one hand while I film with the other because the controller is so cool. I have people coming up and trying it out. They loved it, asking where I got it. Oh, and it's so durable. For instance, I just went full speed into the shoreline, which I don't recommend, but no issue there. Here we go. I'm trying to get some up close shots for you guys. Let's see if we can go by that pontoon at all. See, we just got the boats out on the lake today, right? That guy wants to race. Let's go! Let's go! To the victors go the spoils. Not bad. Wow, we are way out there. I didn't know I had my zoom way in. We are booking it back now if I can find it. Pontoon's looking at it like, oh my gosh. Then you got the reverse too. I'm digging the LEDs on it. All right, I'm gonna put it back in the water. And it'll quite deep in once it's ready. I'll hook the left here so y'all can see the boat. I'll hit reverse. Reverse works great. There's that plastic bag again. I gotta quit hitting that. All right, and what's cool about this is you can just putz for a long time too if you just wanna go slow. You just don't pull the trigger as far, you know? And you just cruise, else you can just gun it. Whatever you wanna do. Loving this. Thanks for checking it out with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. I'm going to go cruise it over by all the people. Bye-bye. Go. -bye. Feel free to go as fast as you want. Cool. You're a pretty good driver. Try going out deep. Nice. I don't know, test it out. It'll beep once it's bad. I'd love to see how far it can go. Like the controller will be once it's uh, going. Wow, you're ripping, nice. You're good, hammer the heck out of that. Just watch the cement. <laughs> Sweet. I guess so.